Is there something unique about these sharks that we could target to keep them away from swimmers? Craig's research begins with the electrosensory organs of the shark, tiny pores that help detect the electrical signals emitted by prey. It's suspected that these organs can sense magnetic fields as well. Sharks may navigate thousands of miles by feeling variations in the Earth's weak magnetic field. And that's where I began to wonder, can you use a much stronger magnetic field, something that's orders of magnitude greater in strength in the Earth's magnetic field, to overwhelm the shark's electrosensory system and deter them? So Craig starts researching the effects of strong permanent magnets on shark behavior. What I began to notice is when these sharks came in close range of these magnets, I was able to elicit these really strong deterrent responses. I had bait adjacent to these magnets. These sharks would come in for the bait, and at the last second, you'd get these really violent aversion responses. Testing in the Bahamas, Craig builds a barrier of magnets around 20 pounds of bait. Over the span of 18 days, we continuously bait it 24 hours a day. And we had up to 23 bull sharks around the barrier at once. Not once did a bull shark enter through the barrier to get that bait. They wanted to, but it was that barrier, the magnetic fields, that kept the sharks at bay. The bull sharks find the sensation of the magnets so overwhelming that they quickly turn away. But what about a shark that's bigger, stronger, faster? After testing in the Bahamas, Craig takes his system to the big leagues, South Africa's Shark Alley. And I met with some fishermen and some local scientists who suggested to me that great white sharks, these large animals, don't swim into highly dense kelp forests. And the spear fishermen in this area actually use these highly dense kelp forests to hide from the great white sharks when they have fish. Working with a team from South Africa's Stellenbosch University, Craig helps develop an artificial kelp forest containing magnets. The kelp is actually plastic pipes running from the seafloor to the surface. Hinges at key points let it sway with the swell. They call it the shark safe system. We began testing this on bull sharks. We began testing this on great white sharks. And what we've seen thus far has been incredibly promising. Sharks are deterred, but not harmed. And fish can swim through freely. So it showed not only that the visual stimulus from the barrier, the magnetic stimulus from the barrier was effective, but the tactile stimulation associated with this barrier seemed to have a dramatic effect on these sharks.